welcome back. It is your Tappy Day Tap. Hyper Focus Hobby is here. And I am back with another unboxing for Diamond Art Club. Not four. I did buy this on my own. This is not sponsored. I don't mean anything like that. Um, but it's just the things that I bought uh, from my anniversary haul uh, at the beginning of June. So we have this. Not only do I have this box, I also wanted to show my brand new pens. These are two new additions to my uh, custom pen uh, collection, I guess. Uh, these are number four, number five. This one here is by MTN Inspirations on Etsy. And it's a hybrid of resin and wood. And if you look inside here, there are these lovely, wonderful uh, pine cones, which is great. Um, it's pink feathers and pink uh, diamonds or jewels right here. I don't quite know exactly what this is. Pink stone. Anyway, um, and if you know me, you know I'm not the biggest pink person, but I saw this and I thought it was beautiful, so I just had to have it, and I snapped it up. Um, I have Diamond Art Club's new six diamond uh, multiplacer on this side, which I actually really love. These brand new multiplacers, they are just enough. They're great. And then I have Diamond Art Club single placer on this side. And this one here is by, oh, what is her name? I just remember the maker's name. Her name is Sarah. And, oh, it's um Mad, Mad Wood, is it called? I can't quite remember. But her name is Sarah. She lives in Slovakia. And she makes these wonderful, wonderful pens. This one is called Coco Pelli. And it is... Just a wonderful design of a pen. I had to also snatch this up once I saw it. And I'm so glad I was able to. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, and in this one, I have Diamond Art Club Single Placer. And then their Plastic 7 Placer. Um, oh, it's Mad Wood Turning. That's what her Etsy is called. And I really do love... Uh, her stuff. I have an absolute um, custom by her that I was able to design based off the core and I absolutely love that pen. I use that pen all the time. Um, going past my brand new pens into number three of my six box haul. Now if I were to tell you that this was the last time I had bought anything this month I would be lying. Um, <laughs> I actually have two, three more to unbox for this month already. It's going to be a lot. Um, but I actually cannot wait for this one. This one's amazing. I actually bought two of this one, one for me and one for a friend. And I will explain to you why once I show you what it is. So here we have... By Rita Konya. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. Rita Konya. Um, the Luna Moth Witch. She is absolutely gorgeous. I saw the picture on the website and I had to have her. I just had to. And in my head was thinking, oh my God, this would be so great for my friend LV because she is just in love with moths, especially Luna Moths. Um, I was like, oh, I'll buy this one for LV. It'll be a gift to her. And then I had to have one for myself. So I quickly ordered a second one just in case. All right, we're going to break into this box. We are going to look at the toolkit, look at the canvas, look at the drills. Probably not in that order. We'll see what happens. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, now we are back for our toolkit. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Okay. Ooh, I know there's more in here. I know there's more in here. Out, out, out. Okay. 
So in our toolkit, as usual, we have our plastic baggies. This time we have a pink pen and a pink squishy. We have our stopper for our boat. I'm gonna put this right here. We have our Diamond Art Club branded tweezers. Uh, again, it comes with tweezers because it is a square drill diamond painting and all square drill Diamond Art Club paintings come with these tweezers. Now these tweezers are not the most open that I've seen from Diamond Art Club, but I can kind of pry them apart. Um, they are, on the other hand, just as sharp as every other Diamond Art Club tweezers as I've ever had. So I'm going to put the cover back on that to be safe. We have our washi tape, which I actually think is really good. And speaking of, I need new washi tape um, storage because I'm running out of space. <laughs> One more trip to Daiso for me. We have our multi-placers, our plastic seven and our plastic four which is great. We have a cover minder. It's a small pink macaron. So that's nice. Oh, by the way, I didn't show this before, but on the back of every cover minder is a magnet and another magnet to trap be the canvas between. And these magnets are very strong. Like I'm just dropping it towards it and it's, it's just going, uh, pick up. And then we have our heart-shaped container with our heart-shaped wax. Inside every heart-shaped container, there's two things of wax. Um, again, I have so many of these. You really don't even need both things of wax for one painting, honestly and truly. Um, but they're very quite, they're quite dangerous with their heart-shaped wax. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to go off camera and put these away now. And then we're going to get into the canvas, which is going to be so great. All right, here we go. So let's get into our canvas. It's on this side. How are you guys doing today, by the way? I have been absolutely... I can't open this thing. Oh, no. I didn't get it at the, the adhesive, which means it's going to not be sealed. What happened to the glue on this? This glue is very strong. Like, I am struggling right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just have to tape that back later. That's fine. I have tape. Um, how are you guys doing uh, these days? I have been sick as a dog. Um, I've also adopted, not adopted, I'm also fostering two new little kittens and they are adorable, but also the bane of my existence right now. But you know, it's great. I love it. Um, all right, let's break into this now that we are into the canvas. Oh, ho, ho, very, very large packet of drills here in the moth witch our thank you uh brochure from last time same as last time same information we don't need that and <coughs> sorry again caught a cold and our sticker sheets the luna moth witch oh isn't she beautiful isn't she great we have 40 colors here, 40 colors and one, two, three, looks like three ABs and two fairy dust diamonds. That's nice. Okay, here we are with our drills. Um, I open up the packet, I put them out, I set them on the table. I can't wait to get into these. I wonder how many strands we're gonna end up having. I see one. Oh, this is one very long zigzagging strand. There's these all by themselves. Oh, a second very long zigzagging strand. And a third also pretty long zigzagging strand. That's three long... Wow, okay. Let's start with uh, these. 
Now I really hope I'm in focus here when it comes to these. I'm not too sure. I can't see my monitor right now. So I'm going to stop the recording and check the camera. So here we have 310. We have pretty big bag of these. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of 310s in here, but let's see. <coughs> um, sorry. My fault. We have one, two, three, four, five. Focus, please. Six. Again, focus, please. Seven. Ooh, seven bags of 310. Wow, just like Sudden. Or was it Morticia? I think it was Carmia that had seven, actually. Um, we have seven bags of 310. One bag of seven. Ooh, spoke too soon. Two bags of 77. Uh, 779, my bad. Oh, it's a fairy dust. That's a really big bag of fairy dust. Oh, my God. Now, I wonder if I can get in here, focus in here enough. Yeah, I can't focus in anymore. Um, but I wonder if I could zoom in maybe. Zoom and then focus. Oh, okay, let's see. What do these look like? It's like a really fine layer of glitter on the top of these. I don't think the camera's going to pick those up very well, but it's very pretty. Oh, there. You can kind of see it there in the corner. I hope it's being picked up really well. Um, but wow, that's pretty. We have one... Two bags of those, three bags of those actually. Oh my god. Ooh, damn it, Art Club done spoiled us on this one. Three bags of those. 938, so that really chocolatey brown. Another bag of 938. Another Z. Z396. Right, 69. Oh my god. Let me make sure I'm reading these correctly. Z3865, 938, Z369, 369. Another one of those fairy dust drills. And I wonder, I wonder if I could get the glitter on these to show. Oh my. That's also really pretty. We got one, two, Three big bags of those. That's awesome. 3860, which is a nice chocolatey brown color. And we got two, three bags of that really nice chocolatey brown color. Oh, another bag of 3860. 3860, 3861, which looks like kind of hot chocolate with extra milk in it. 3371, another really chocolatey brown color. It's showing up black on camera, but really it's just a very dark, dark brown. We got two bags of those. 451, 451, another bag of 451. 3024, two bags of those. A bag of 453. 8.98, two bags of those, 9.93, 6.99, come on, read it nicely, we got another bag of six, 9.66, 4 7.78, 7.72, 225 and 164. Now I wonder what's in this really small bag. We've got 598, 992. Oh, uh, here's our first AB. 
This is number 100. It's very, very sparkly as all ABs are. I'm really happy that this camera is able to pick up on that AB sparkle. That's gorgeous. 915, 3818, 732, 3831, 152, 3814, sorry, 3733, 3350, 3731. And there's one more bag. Oh, here we go. Focus for me, please. 3774. Huh, I thought there was at least two APs in here. Is there only one? Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I believe AB stop at 149. So I thought 150 was an AB. It's not. It's just number 100. So we only have one AB in this kit. And that's okay by me. Now we can get into our lovely, lovely canvas. I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like. I cannot wait to really get a look at this canvas that I fell in love with. I just cannot wait. So let's get into it. And I'm just going to roll it the way it is. And oh my goodness, oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. I have to flip this. I have to roll it backwards because I need, I need, oh, it is so good. Okay, okay, wait, just give me a second. Okay, all right. Now that it's laying a bit easier, I can stretch it across my table a bit better. And oh, it's still, oh my God. No wonder I was in love with this thing. It's beautiful. Just the rendering is so gorgeous. And as usual, Diamond Art Club's canvas it's so clear to read. Like, I can see every single one of these symbols, even out to here. And my eyesight's not good, I'll tell you that. I'm basically blind. But, oh, it's so good. Again, another dark painting. I think I might be in my dark era of diamond paintings. But these moths are beautiful. The color of her hair is gorgeous. I, like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> this tickles a part of my brain that is just too happy to, to do anything. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Okay, let's get into this canvas. Let's try to find out where that one AB is. And we are looking for this. Uh, number one and then these two for the fairy dust drills which looks like a very stylized N and a white square with a black square inside which I already see where that white fairy dust is Ugh. it is in the moon here like all throughout this, this really really bright white that you see that's all that white fairy dust it's in the moon it's in the ferns it's in the 
the moths is in her hair a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, it's in these ferns over here. More all throughout the moss, really highlighting the light parts of the moss. Um, anywhere that you see like these kind of like twinkling lights in the sky, that's that uh, white fairy dust drill. What about the ends? Oh my goodness. I, wow, that is a lot. Um, the ends are, are they in this first one here? Yes. There's a couple in this first moth. There's a few in this moth, a few in this moth, uh, a couple in each of the moths actually that I'm seeing, except for this big moth at the bottom. I don't see any lies. I see one. There is one in, uh, this moth at the bottom. But it is all throughout her hair. It is everywhere in her hair. Her hair is going to be so shiny and I love it. I love it so much. You don't understand. Her hair is going to be so shiny. And then we have the number ones. I wonder where the number ones are going to be. And it's that green Aurora Borealis. And I'm just not seeing where a number one is. I know it's here. So it's got to be here. Somewhere. Aha! I found it. Okay. So the number ones are here in the moth. It's kind of like a really soft, limey green, I guess, or like a grass green. Um, it's here in the moths. I think... Each of the moths have some in them, except for this one. This one has none. This big moth at the bottom has a few. I don't see any in her. Oh, lies. There's a couple in her hair right here, but only a couple, which would explain why it was in the bag for, um, in the string of, in the string of drills where there's not too many drills because they're all weighed out that's how diamond art club makes sure you have enough drills in the bag they weigh out the drills for you so that oh my goodness that is amazing i love that that's great so that's it guys that is the luna moth witch and she is amazing i i between Sudden, Karamiya, and Luna Moth Witch, I really don't know which one I'm probably going to kit up next, especially since I am about to finish my Harry Potter diamond painting. Um, I don't know what to do. And I still have three more to unbox. This is going to be hard. Oh my goodness. But in any case... Thank you for joining me again on this third installation of my anniversary haul. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.